Hi, and welcome to another episode of Defining Design with Bridget Berry. We're going to show you a master bedroom I designed and go through the details because I get lots of questions on what's involved in a bed, what's a duvet cover, what's a coverlet. So I'm going to explain to you all those different parts of the bed. When we examine this room, I did a lot of great techniques to give a good look at a little bit cheaper price. So let's look at those. First thing we'll look at is the headboard. It was designed just with fabric and then stitched to give this quilted pattern a great and expensive way to get a, a really rich look. We also added the two finials to make it look more like a bed and a headboard. Another detail in this room are these end tables. They came to me in a finish that I wasn't really pleased with, so I put some orange shellac on them. They turned this wonderful green color and really rich orange, and they look great now. Great contrast to the room. Another detail are the lamps, where we put this added this little trim to the shade. It's a good way just to give a little more detail. So now let's talk about the bed. There's lots of questions about what makes up a bed, and I love pillows and fabric. So we've got our sleeping pillows here. I have a body pillow made of silk. I have two Euro shams, and Euro shams are the square shams as opposed to a regular or a, or a king size or queen sham that more rectangular. And I also have added a chenille bolster. Then we discuss what's on the bed. You've got the fitted sheet and the sheet. Then you'll have something over top. This happens to be a mat lisse coverlet. You could also have a comforter that goes over the whole bed, but I like a lightweight coverlet that will go over a blanket in the winter, and I love the mat lisse design of these little roses and trellis design. makes up this bed is a duvet. The duvet has a down insert and the duvet cover is sort of a sheeting material that has buttons or a zipper that you cover this with. I like to keep mine at the end of the bed so I can pull it up at night when it's chilly. Some people like to use it across the whole bed sort of as the coverlet itself. So that can be done either way. The last detail of this room is the dust guard. This dust guard is made of silk and is done in a gathered pattern. My secret is that I like to use a little bit of crinoline underneath just to give it a little bit of fullness and give it a little bit of puff. So I like the drama that that creates. Thank you for looking at this master bedroom and always remember that a master bedroom needs to be comfortable. So thank you for watching another episode of Defining Design.